Welcome to Black Ink's Reviews. Today, I want to cover the quartering and all the shenanigans and misinformation regarding Comic Skate. First off, I want to shout out Deadwood Dale. He does great content. He's rising close to 100 subs. I'm not sure if he's crossed it. Let's get him past the century mark and on to 1,000 subs. He's uh, one of the best new upcoming voices in CG since uh, the Red Gaze, who I'm happy to call a brother, uh, in arms. He did a great video about this, about... Uh, the soy patty, the quartering, uh, in conjunction with your boy Zach video, but I think they both missed something, and I want to discuss that. So let's look at the quartering in, in my view, is very limited analysis of Comicsgate. First off, he's a YouTuber, that's his game, and uh, in my estimation, it's a griff game. He likes to jump from controversy to controversy. Uh, he recently seemed elated on Twitter at the fact that OnlyFans, which is a... Uh, from what I understand only, a porn site uh, had a glitch of some sort, releasing videos even to minors. Um, you know, recently, entertainment controversy is pretty much far and few between. Uh, he recently reported on Captain Marvel 2 and apparently Henry Cavill uh, being cast as Wolverine, which, uh, from what we know so far, is fake news, and the site seemed to just be a uh, clickbait piece by a nobody. Um... He thinks we should be covering controversy with comics and hitting at the big two. Well, the problem with that is, generally speaking, uh, it seems after all this time, the comic pros have finally learned to quit talking about comic skate, uh, quit acknowledging us, and quit hitting at us and just do their own thing, along with making uh, more and more quality comics. For instance, you got Donny Cates, which whatever you think of him on Twitter and uh, his persona, what he believes in, he's been doing uh, Absolute Carnage, which is the hit, Silver Surfer Black. I think he's doing Thor at the moment. Uh, it seems to be pleasing most fans, along with Jonathan Hickman doing X-Men and Fantastic Four, uh, Al Ewing doing Immortal Hulk, Sean Gordon Murphy doing Batman Curse of the White Knight, and uh, DC Black Label in general. The only controversies I'm aware of recently in comics um, is uh, something that's kind of uh, hinted at, perhaps, but not really proven thus far, is this kind of three-way with uh, Wolverine, uh, Jean Grey, Marvel Girl, and um, Cyclops, and uh, Luke Skywalker having a yellow lightsaber uh, in between Empire and Return of the Jedi. That's about all I've seen with controversy. There's not much to cover. Um, the other thing he's not accounting for is the initial culture war fervor behind CG when it started. Um, you had the issue of your boy Zach and Mark Wade interfering with his Antarctic press uh, contract, which still is being ruled uh, in a court case, you know, uh, remains to be ruled on. <laughs> um, so a lot of people that jumped on board were pissed off with the comics industry, wanted to hit back. And um, since then, it, you know, the fervor that maybe this could be a Republican counter or a conservative counter, uh, a lot of those people that first jumped on realized, oh wait, we just, these people just wanna make good comics without divisive politics, without hitting back with the other side of politics, uh, or not using it for a religious crusade. Uh, and so now they're anti-CG, and they like to deem comics gate anti-Christian in their smear, because it didn't go the way they wanted. Uh, also, there's Indiegogo competition. Um, your boy Zach pointed out how he's kind of competing with himself on Indiegogo, along with all these other people that come up. Um, Indiegogo and the initial splurge with Comicsgate was just a few big people uh, that had huge hits, monetarily speaking, because people wanted to, you know, protest with their money against the comics industry. Um, it was like a gold rush. He had a few huge hits, uh, but now, after the fact of Cyberfrog and Jawbreakers, for instance, being uh, gold nuggets, if you will, huge finds, uh, the news has spread, and a lot more people uh, have brought their pills to the water, so there's less chance at uh, fortunes like those couple of uh, projects. Um, and on top of it, this format of kind of indie creation is still in its infancy. A lot of people weren't aware of Kickstarter. That was the go-to. Now you got Indiegogo. Um, it's only been a couple years since Comscape started, and everyone's kind of adjusting or starting their first campaigns. Uh, you boys, I point out how Indie, uh, not Indiegogo, IDW actually has a Batman game that's going to cross 
easily a million dollars. Um, along with Tom McFarlane showing at a toy fair that he is going to do crowdfunding for uh, recreating the original Spawn toy line. Um, so it remains to see where this will go and how much corporate interference might come into Indiegogo and Kickstarter, the indie crowdfunding uh, experience. Um, so yeah, that's what, those are my thoughts. Again, go sub to Deadwood Dell. He's got great content. Um, let me know what y'all thought uh, of this whole fiasco in the comments below. Until next time.